Hello guys, let's learn how to calculate equilibrium concentrations using a practice question. So here we have 0.5 mole per liter of hydrogen gas and 1 mole per liter of chlorine gas placed in a reaction vessel to yield HCl gas using this reaction. What is the value of Kc, the equilibrium constant, once the system comes to equilibrium at 600 degrees Celsius and the concentration at that time of HCl is 0.935 mole per liter. Let's take a look at the steps that we need to do to calculate Kc. Well, first we need to balance the equation. So let's take a look at it. Is this balanced? No, it's not, right? We need two moles of HCl right here. And then we need to write the equilibrium expression. So Kc equals to the concentration of HCl, right? That's our product, squared divided by the concentration of H2 gas and the concentration of Cl2 gas. And all these concentrations should be equilibrium concentrations. So we need to figure those out in order to calculate Kc. Now we need to tabulate all known initial and equilibrium concentrations in a so-called rice or ice table. So the table's name is coming from the parts that you have in this table. So we are going to show the reaction, the initial concentration, the change in concentration, and the equilibrium concentration. And the first letters are going to give us the acronym RICE. So first of all, let's write out the reaction. So we have H2 plus Cl2 giving us 2 moles of HCl. All right, now we need to tabulate all the concentrations that we know. We know that we started with 0 0.5 mole per liters of H2. So I'm going to write that in here. Uh, and we had 1 mole per liter of Cl2. How much did we have of the product at the beginning? Zero, right? We didn't have any product at the beginning of the reaction. And we also know that in equilibrium, we had 0 0.935 mole per liters of HCl. Now, for anything for which we know the initial and the equilibrium concentrations, we have to calculate the change. That is this part right here. So we know the equilibrium and initial concentration for the product, which is HCl, and we know that the change there, were, well, it went from 0 to 0 0.935, was plus 0 0.935 mole per liter. Now, we need to use the balanced equation to find the change and equilibrium concentration for all other reactants and products. Okay, so how do I do that? I need to use the reaction, right? So I know that when I formed two moles of hydrochloric acid gas, I only needed one mole of chlorine gas and one mole of H2 gas. And I know the change for HCl. So using this information, I can write out the following. When I have a change of 0 0.935 mole per liter of HCl, I can convert that into, let's say, Cl2 gas, because in the reaction, I have for each mole of Cl2, two moles of HCl. So the two moles of HCl gonna be on the bottom, and the one mole of Cl2 on top, right? So these are going to cancel out, and at the end, I'm going to get 0 0.468 mole per liter of Cl2. Simply because in the equation from one mole of Cl2, I made two moles of HCl. 
So the change in case of Cl2 is going to be 0 0.468 mole per liter. Did I add that amount or did I use that amount up? I used it up, right? So that's going to be with a negative sign. And because the ratio of H2 and Cl2 is 1 to 1, I can simply add the same value right here because I know that when I use up one mole of Cl2, then also one mole of H2 will react. So if I used up 0 0.468 moles of Cl2, then 0 0.468 moles of H2 reacted. And now, if I simply subtract the numbers from each other, right, I'm going to get the equilibrium concentration. So first, I take 0 0.5 minus 0 0.468, and that is going to give me 0 0.032. This is the equilibrium concentration of H2. And then I subtract from one mole per liter, 0 0.468 mole per liter for Cl2, that is going to give me 0 0.532 mole per liter. All right, I'm almost done. So now I need to use these equilibrium concentrations and plug them into this expression from the beginning. Let's do that on the next slide. So here I have everything already prepared with the values that we calculated in red. And we need to use these equilibrium concentrations, which we are simply going to plug into the expression right here for Kc. So I have 0 0.935 mole per liter squared, right? This is the concentration of ACL divided by 0 0.032 mole per liters, and that is multiplied by 0 0.532 mole per liter. So those values are again simply coming from here. And if you do this calculation, you are going to get 51.4 as your KC. All right, I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.